Topic today, guys, paralysis by analysis. This is Brian back at you with another video where my goal is to mentor you to a rewarding career and to help you create a life you're proud of. And in that endeavor, I answer an email from a fellow viewer who's having a hard time between choosing option A and choosing option B. And as a result, he is choosing neither. Let's dive into his email right now. Hi there, Brian. Just saw your video on choosing your major in college and I wanted to see if you'd be able to offer some wisdom because I'm struggling quite a bit. So long story short, I'm 22 years old and I had some very bad social anxiety growing up which caused me to miss school a lot and take education for granted. Now being a grown up, I'm realizing that I made the wrong decisions and want to get an education in something I enjoy doing instead of being stuck in a 9 to 5 job that I hate for the rest of my life. I was thinking of getting into marketing, but every time I decide on a possible major, the voice pops into my head and says, but you'll end up hating that and hating your life. So I end up not deciding. I currently have a YouTube channel as well where I talk about self-development topics, but it's fairly new and I have no clue what I'm doing. I feel like it's better to do that than to do nothing at all. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Much love from Florida, Gabriel. And I see that you mentioned that you have a YouTube channel. I think that's awesome. I'm in the same boat as you. My channel is relatively new, relatively small, and I'm learning as I'm going. It's been fascinating, and I've been learning so much as I'm exploring this YouTube world and connecting with a lot of other people in this platform. I'm gonna check out your YouTube channel as soon as I'm done here. Let's talk about the main point here of your email. Gabriel, I think you opened up with the idea of whether or not you should go into marketing, but I see it as much more than that. And I really think that it's about you trying to an analyze something before you go ahead with it. And that makes sense. And it's always good to have strategies and to think about something before you do it. I think you're at a point only at 22 years old where you can just go for it and see what happens. You're young, you've got plenty of time on your side, you can make mistakes, but most of all, it's important just to go after something at this age, anything. If you feel like this is something you wanna do, don't analyze it to death. Don't try to reach for perfection too early on. What's going to happen is that you're gonna do your marketing degree, you're gonna get a job in marketing, and you're gonna meet people from that, you're gonna learn new things from that, you're going to work for different companies, you're gonna see new opportunities happen, you're gonna have a completely different new network than you do currently. So my point is you have to start now and just go for it. You can calibrate, recalibrate, adjust, pivot, whatever you wanna call it. You can do all of that as you progress, but you don't know what you need to do until you start. I also noticed in your email that you say that you don't wanna work nine to five. Well, what does that mean? Does that mean that you want more flexibility in your day-to-day uh, -day routine? Do you wanna work more than nine to five? Are you saying that you wanna have a job? It gives you this drive and passion that is so strong that you feel that you have to contribute more than nine to five? Maybe you don't wanna work in an office or perhaps you wanna be a road warrior and travel a lot. I don't know what nine to five means. And here's the thing, I don't think you know what nine to five means either until you actually go and work. And that's my point. You actually have to just get in there and see what happens. Now, if you were to use martial arts as an analogy, anybody, if you teach them within the first hour or two, you can have that student punch air, kick air, strike a kicking pad, anybody can do that. But as soon as you put them in the ring, you put them in a sparring session, all of that goes out the window pretty quickly. And what's going on there? Why is it happening? You can perfect every technique, but once you go into that crazy environment where things get very unpredictable, you realize really quickly what you like and what you don't like, what techniques you feel good with and what techniques you feel very uncomfortable, very vulnerable with trying to apply. It's the same thing with regards to your career. It's the same thing with regards to work. You have to just go in there, meet new people, see what you like, what you don't like. There's gonna be certain types of people you like working with. There could be the certain type of job or leadership opportunities that you really, really wanna try. But you don't know any of that until you actually get in there and get working. The same thing happens with me with regards to YouTube. Funny, you mentioned that you have your YouTube channel. You're gonna realize, just like I do, as you navigate through YouTube and you develop your videos, you learn how to craft better videos, you learn how to make it more efficient, 
you learn how to speak better on camera. That all comes with practice, that comes with trial and error, and that's my point out of all of this. Stop analyzing. If you want to get into marketing, do it. Just go after it. You don't know where that's going to take you. You might become a VP of marketing in a huge company 10, 15, 20 years from now. Or maybe you start your own agency. You have no idea until you try. Heck, you might actually leave marketing altogether, but you can take all those skills that you've learned and all of those people that you've met along the way to help you go after that new thing, whatever the case may be. So there you go, Gabriel. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any other questions, you know where to reach me. And for the rest of you guys, if you have a question that you want me to answer in a future video, go to my website, 101mentoring.com. You can submit your questions that way and I'll get to it when I can. I also have other services that you can also tap into where we can do one-on-one -on -one mentoring or I can answer your question within um, a certain time frame. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.